Hello, hello, hello. We are live. Hello. What's what is going up? on? What's up, Facebook fam? Yo, what did you think of the giveaway we got going on today? Dude. A little bit different, right, homie? First and foremost, I keep forgetting this. Main homie, behind the camera. Mateo, say what's up to the homies. What's up, guys? What up? Yo, I got to tell you guys a story. A little story about big homie behind the camera. So he knows like, man, we got like 30 custom projects that are due within the next week. And I fly out to Cancun on Saturday for like two days. So. <laughs> That's it, just to do this giveaway deal. Cause I love you guys so much. And I'm not designed for cold weather and Michigan's extremely cold right now. I don't like that. So well, at least you get to go celebrate your birthday go, somewhere warm. Get a little bit of warmth. Get a little bit of color on my face, relax a minute, do this giveaway. But anyway, man, we're like, we're slim with custom projects, right? So everyone's like, what are you going to do on your birthday? What are you going to do on your birthday? I'm like, well, I have to stay late and actually finish a bunch of projects. Oh. So my <laughs> homie behind the lens, Mateo, was like, like, what, like about a half an hour before we closed shop here at our, at our store in the studio. Everyone's leaving, like, bye, JP, happy birthday. And Mateo comes up to me and he's like, hey. You want some beer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be here all night. Of course I want beer. So my homie came, got me a six pack of beer, uh -huh. and is hanging out with me after hours. And dude, I freaking love you to death, man. Thank you. Cheers, love you too, bro. Man. man happy, happy, happy birthday. Thank you, thank you. 32? Oh, yeah, dude. I'm 32. I don't feel like I'm 32. Yeah. I feel like I'm much younger. My body's starting to feel like 32, even though know, my mind is like 12. <laughs> but uh, it's it's been a ride, you know. Yeah. It's been a lot of fun. Um, I haven't even got a chance to like read any of the comments, but like Mateo's been telling me, and some of the other team members have been telling me, like they're really super heartfelt, and I can't wait because that's exactly what I wanted for my birthday. I wanted to be able to like go in the comments and just hear all this good news because like you guys know, you know. Anywhere you click, anywhere you see, you turn on the television, you turn on the news, and it's like, coronavirus, and like, if you're in the U.S., it's like, the president versus this bad guy, and all these bad guys everywhere. It's just negative, you know, and it takes a toll on your soul, on your heart, on your mind. So, like, mm -hmm. what I wanted to do most, uh, first and foremost, was, like, open up the comments and just, like, see some good things, and I hope others do. I hope, you know, random people across the world go in the comments section and just, like, Here's some good news for once. So thank you guys. It's all thanks to you guys, the fam. Yeah. Freaking love y'all. So so tell us. So yes. what? Anything you want to know? What have you learned in uh, 32 years on this big rock? This is the biggest rock. So. It's a big rock. I've been on this rock for 32 years today. What have I learned? Man. <laughs> Where do I begin? Um, you know, it, it's crazy because I know a lot of you don't really know my origin story or where I came from, what I what I did. Um, I've been in the industry, the jewelry industry, my entire life. You know, it started actually with my grandfather back in Beirut, Lebanon, which is where we're all from. That's why I don't look super American. Anyway, um, you know, and my dad came to the United States when he was like a 17 years old as a refugee practically. And uh, he really built this amazing company in the jewelry. He made a name for himself and for my entire family in the jewelry industry, along with his brothers. Um, and you know, like people say like, it's, it, you have no idea what it's like if you grow up and you have nothing and you try to become something. And I have mad respect for everybody like that. Believe me, I do. But you know what's also really freaking hard and really like takes a toll on your mind is if you have parents that are very, very successful that have done big things and you just wonder like, where's your place? You know, what are you gonna do to, to make your own name for yourself? And to be honest, I suffered an identity crisis before this whole thing, before JP the jeweler came about because I kept on striving to be what my parents were and what they did. And I just realized I couldn't do it the same way they did. I had to kind of go my own path. So, I mean, my heart 
is, is out there for all of you, you know, kids out there and younger folks that the parents were very successful and did big things. It's hard on your mental because you want to do better. You want to make a name for yourself. You don't want to just always be like the son of this person. So I've learned that you have to go out, you have to take risks, do some crazy things like start a, your own brand in the middle of a pandemic and uh, <laughs> find the right friends. Because let me tell you, uh, the moment I launched, I went from having hundreds and hundreds of friends in the industry to less than five. Um, those who didn't sue me um, made sure like I have the worst reputation in the industry by talking mad crap about me and, and all this stuff. So I, as you get older, you just realize who's in your corner. Um, my main homie behind the camera. We yeah. know each other forever. Uh, that was, by the way, like in the video today, I know there was like a three second shot of me playing guitar. That was Mateo right next to me. So like we go way, way back, back when in we the were, days. When we were babies. Man, we were so young. I was looking at that for a second, man. Oh my gosh. So, you know, cherish your true friends. The, you know, when you go down or when you go up in life, it's very easy to find out who your true friends are because those are the ones that, that love you through it. Especially with the success, because once you get successful, you get a lot of those fake friends and you get a lot of people that hate you for being successful. Only a few uh, left over, but those are the ones that count. Those are the ones that I know are going to be with me for years to come. Anyway, it's been a blessing. It's been awesome. It's been quite the ride. This giveaway is going on now till Saturday at 11.59 p.m., right? Yep. 11.59. You guys have just a few days to enter. Where's Punk Rocks? You don't even have it. It's somewhere around here. <laughs> I promise you it's real. I mean, people keep saying, <laughs> I get a lot of comments saying, like, this is a hoax, I'm not real. I don't know how I could fake this stuff, guys. Like, I film, like, Mateo films me making the piece. So this isn't a costume piece. I'm very real. I bleed red, just like the rest of you guys. Um, the reason why I do it is because I want to spread love. Like, life is hard enough, pretty much, you know? And for my birthday, that's what I wanted. So thank you guys. Thank you for all the birthday wishes. I haven't seen them yet. I know I got a whole oh, mess Don't worry, them. you'll be spending a couple <laughs> hours tonight. <laughs> hours and hours responding, but I love doing it and I love you guys. Thank you for the support. Keep sharing if you loved that video. Hey, I'm talking to you right there. If you're watching me, if you love that video, share it. Not because I want the more views, I want people to spread love and do kind things for my birthday. So if you really, really love me, go back, share that video. Make sure you comment it correctly because it's not me that picks it. It is a wheel. It's a machine. It's an algorithm. So make sure you spell correctly. Kind hashtag kindness wins, right? Yep. Make sure you do that. Double check your work. Please share the video. Thank you so much. I love you guys. I'll be up. I'll see you next time. Peace.